and welcome to Nyonya Cooking. Today I'm bringing you a typical Nyonya potato soup recipe. Now just like all the other Asian soups, this is very delicious, nutritious and of course very simple. So let me show you the ingredients to prepare your own Nyonya potato soup. The base of the soup can be of your choice and here I've chosen some chicken pieces which weighs up to 250 gram and uh, of course potatoes. So I have here three potatoes, one shallot, also one garlic and two pieces of ginger. And most importantly what you need to have is fermented bean paste. Here I have about one and a half teaspoon. So depending on uh, the taste that you like, um, because the saltiness of the soup will already come from the fermented bean paste. So you can use a bit of salt if you like. Do not forget you will also need a bit of oil to fry the fermented bean paste and also the pounded spices. Okay, so if you want to get it off the smell from the chicken meat, just pour some hot water over the meat. And once you have drained the water out of the bowl, you can keep the chicken meat into the fridge and while you prepare the other ingredients. So now we are going to prepare the ingredients to pound. I'm just going to cut it, the shallots into smaller pieces and then just put it into the pesto and mortar here. You can use a blender if you want, but in this case, I prefer to use the pesto and mortar. So all we need to do now is to pound these ingredients. We leave the ginger aside so you would just want the taste to just uh, come out so just crush it as um, small as possible it does not need to be like um, in a blended texture after that pound the ginger last but not least you just need to cut the potatoes into smaller pieces it's really up to you how small you would like it to be now that we have all the ingredients ready we're going to move over to the stove and prepare the soup so it's just a bit of oil we'll start first with the pounded onions um, shallots and also garlic fry until fragrant after that add the fermented bean paste into the pot fry for about 30 seconds and then it's time to add the ginger too so now basically you can smell the fermented bean paste together with the pounded um, spices. So why I added, um, why I put the chicken into the fridge after the hot water, after uh, blanching it with hot water is because we wanted a more chewy texture to the chicken meat. So that is why it was um, kept into the fridge for a while. Give it a few quick stirs and then add about 700 ml of water. And do not forget the potatoes. We are just going to let this set in for about one and a half hours. So make sure that this soup boils and one, uh, once it starts boiling, bring it to low and let it simmer for one and a half hours. The soup is ready. So now, so take it out. Oh, you can smell it. So good. So give it a few stirs and then it's time to just dish it out. So as you can see, the potatoes are now soft. Chicken meat is just tender and nice. So there you have it, the Nyonya potato soup. Remember to try this recipe and tell me your comments in the comment section below or through Twitter or Facebook. I just love it when you send me your photos of the recipes which you have tried. So keep on coming and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy cooking!